I guess I'll try to do like one on one here. Uh, Kevin, right? Yep. Yes, okay. So, I'll see, uh, you know, you made your first start here, you know, not too long ago, and you're back here again. So, when it comes to not only gaining confidence with the truck, but gaining confidence in yourself, you know, what does it feel like to come back for a second time and already had that a little bit of experience? Yeah, it's definitely um, something that I had to get used to. Um, we had a little bit of a different setup this time, and I uh, just kind of had to run through the paces and get acclimated to that. I uh, could have done a little bit better in qualify, but uh, we were running great times in practice, and I'm feeling really good about the race. So uh, it's good to have some experience under my belt. Yeah, and obviously, uh, you know, a whole family affair here. You've, like, you've seen it with the uh, the Truexes and the Bushes. I mean, right. just having a relative on the track is something pretty rare. So when it comes to you and your brother, you know, kind of growing in the sport together, you know, how unique has that been and how special has it been for you? Yeah, that's been huge. Ever, I mean, back to the go-kart days and, and we, you know, we just kept going from there, but uh, it's always been good to be able to bounce ideas off of him and, uh, you know, kind of discuss and strategize. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've been racing together for forever, it feels like, so it's it's definitely been a good thing. Yeah, you're the older brother. Have you been kind of giving him more advice or has he, has he kind of surprised you a couple times? Sometimes he gives me more advice. I yeah. mean, it's, we both started racing at the same time even though we were different ages um, so really the skill level has developed you know in the same time frame so it's not really out, like I'm the older brother or anything we're, we're both just drivers with the same amount of experience right and a lot of younger drivers you know they struggle with sponsorship and sometimes they get in and they kind of have it easy they find it with a bigger team but you now you two you you have very um, obviously very similar backgrounds and you're coming in you're doing it the hard way so when it comes to your struggles you know how has the last you know two years especially been for you in your career yeah I mean well we're we're first or maybe second generation racers and um, we don't have uh, any uncles or anyone in the sport um, so you know we've had to kind of make a big push to um, get sponsors and stuff like that um, you know one thing I'm really proud to be doing is racing for our first responders which is our whole uh, thing right now first responder racing um, and that's not so much about sponsorships, but we're just trying to drive donations to the uh, charities that help out our firemen and police, policemen and uh, all, you know, EMS, all the first responders uh, around this country. And 100% of those donations actually go to them. So, um, yeah, that's that's been the most rewarding thing so far. Um, and just talking with all of those guys and hearing their stories and everything has been pretty amazing. Yeah. Do you know your schedule for this year? Is it kind of just how this race goes and that might propel you to something else? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if one of us wins the race, that would be helpful. Uh, but it's kind of up in the air. Um, we're just trying to race as much as we possibly can. You know, initially we had kind of the vision of running the whole season. Uh, but obviously it takes a lot of money to do that. So we're, you know, even though all the donations will go to first responders, we're always looking for partners to uh, help support us in our cause and um, help keep us racing and keep us on the track all year. Yeah, I mean, how much notes do you take out there? I mean, you got guys like Johnny Sauter, you guys have been driving around. I mean, you yeah. must take a lot of mental notes. Can you do that inside yeah. the truck or maybe you talk to him afterwards? Yeah, no, certainly. Um, you know, during practice, we definitely talk while we're driving to our uh, spotter and our crew chief. and try and give them uh, you know some pointers on how to make the truck better and you know how it's handling everything and those guys are the experts with the adjustments and they'll go back and make changes uh, during qualify we kind of just run the qualify and then when we pull in with these group qualifies now um, they'll you know they kind of listen to our feedback and we'll be able to adjust the truck accordingly yeah. so yeah a lot of a lot of mental notes yeah and absolutely and for Kyle you you have uh, an extra start here this is actually yeah. your third time here yeah. so uh, when it comes to you know taking notes out there and seeing what these guys can do um, do you feel like you're getting a getting the grounds of this track do you feel like you have something to learn still uh yeah it definitely helps you know with the background we had uh you know going through late models and everything the first time we came here it, it honestly I felt pretty confident and uh obviously you learn more every every lap you make and uh but you know our first responder Chevrolet has been really good and I mean really it came out the box pretty good we haven't had to adjust too much and I mean there's there's a little little things you tweak here and there but overall I mean you know it's been about what it was last time you know I didn't need to really learn too much but you know we, we got it as fast as we could right you went pretty solid in qualifying it was a pretty solid session for you yeah. I mean do you, do you take that past experience and have you come back this third time when it comes to braking and get back on yeah. the throttle, balancing it all, do you feel like you're just a well-rounded driver here now? It uh, it definitely makes it more comfortable. You know, you're not you're not really thinking about anything. It, it makes it more easy to stay calm and just focus on you know getting into rhythm and hitting lap after lap. And uh, 
qualify could have gone a lot better we had some brake issues and it, i mean if we didn't have those we would have been really good but uh i think we'll do a lot better than we did last time even so yeah, and the same, same with Kevin. I mean, just having a brother here at the racetrack. I mean, you guys are sharing uh, not only this experience, but this yeah. opportunity together with you yeah. know, your sponsors and everybody. So growing together, I mean, that's such a unique experience you guys have had. Yeah, it's like you said, it's really nice to bounce things off each other. You know, it's uh, one driver that you can completely trust. I mean, you can trust everyone, but yeah, I mean, you can just know Yeah, we both have our best interests in mind. And, uh, you know, it definitely helps each other for sure. I mean, it. It really it speeds up the learning process of every track. You know, I tell him everything I know, and he tells me everything he knows. Yeah. And personally, you know, how is how's it really? I, I bet it's it's helped your guys' personal relationship. You know, uh, even outside the track. Yeah, we've always been close outside the track, and I mean, it it, it definitely helps because I mean, you see some siblings they don't get along too well, and I mean, I'm sure racing would just add more pressure on it. And uh, you know, even in go karts, I mean, it'd help everywhere to just bounce things off each other. You know. Yeah. And personal relationship on your side, you now how has it really been? Yeah, um, I mean, most of our conflicts have been off the track, honestly. Uh, we get along pretty well at the racetrack, and we get along well in general, but, um, you know, when we're here, we have our race suits on, and we're, we're just trying to strategize to be as fast as we can. There's, yeah. there's no, you know, there's no time for emotions. Right. Um, and, you know, so it's it's really just all business when we're here, and, um, yeah, it's I'd say we get along pretty decent. Yeah. Here, so. You guys had any issues on the track before together? Uh, not really. No, I don't think so. Nothing? Uh, virtual racing is a different story. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I racing, right? Yeah. But yeah, I racing. Um, but real life, yeah, I don't, I don't recall really ever having anything happen. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. part of that's our dad would probably kill us because he's you know, a lot of times he was paying for the racing, yeah. and I really appreciate him doing that. But uh, you know, we don't want to take one piece of our equipment and tear up another piece of our equipment. So yeah. It's always kept us pretty grounded uh, yeah. in that sense. And what is it like, you know, having him here at the track? You know, it's just such a. It seemed such a family environment, you know, and it's really cool to see yeah. not only multiple drivers, but the family coming and all that. Such a short track with so much history. It's just such, it seems right. like such a great time for a family, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's, uh, my mom's here as well. Um, but, you know, it, he, he's been uh, the number one crew chief and he would wrench on the cars and everything uh, all up until this point, you know, and obviously we have a, a team that does that now, so it's a little different, but, uh, you know, growing up and racing and going to all these different tracks, you know, uh, him, me, and Kyle really were the sole people who would work on our cars, and occasionally we had help, but we were we were really the main guys, so it, it's uh, it's different, but it's it's definitely nice to still have them out to the track and yeah. uh, and be proud parents, I guess. Right. And question for both of you guys: Do you feel? Can you picture what your career would be like if you had to do this one without the other? Do you feel like it would be any different, any more difficult? I mean, what, how would the opportunity be different for both of you guys? Um, I don't know. I'd say a big thing is we compete against each other a lot, so that drives us to go a little yeah. faster. Uh, especially in the past, it, you know, there's so much going on here. We don't get to talk to right. each other as much, but I think it's been a positive thing overall would you say sure. yeah it, it, it adds a little comfort level to being at the racetrack because you know you know there's friendly competition out there right. and uh you're just confident in who you're around you know yeah and, and to kind of talk about uh, your schedule you know do you is it you know kind of similar is it kind of just how this yeah. race goes if this race goes well i mean hopefully we get more races out of it yeah. uh you know but there's nothing definite at all right now right. so you did quite a few races last year got yeah 16th yeah. here last year i think yeah. that that really impressed a lot of people yeah uh, yeah, I, we did great last year, and I mean, this truck feels better than the one last year. Uh, so I think, you know, a top 10 is feasible. So I'm really excited. And if that goes well, hopefully that, you know, lands us some more races in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely appreciate you guys' time. Um, yeah, I've been taking all the photos of you guys' trucks. So I'm definitely going to be sending them uh, Jim's way. So yeah, I hope you guys like and it. I so. just want to say a special thanks to uh, DJ Cobb. He's been our crew yeah. chief this weekend. And Mike Mittler. Uh, he's He's going through some health stuff right now, so I want to say a prayer for him as well. And uh, of course, all the first responders. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah.